Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Bajska, international nail artist and educator here. And today we are going to do a beautiful unicorn style nails. Have a wee preview of it in here. Absolutely fantastic, colorful set and I hope you really enjoy watching it. Let's start! We're going to create a beautiful unicorn on this set and the idea came after mixing those two colors. You have guys seen me in uh, the other video how I have been mixing them like red and white and then added a drop of blue to create this purple and I thought like wow a unicorn is going to be cool. Uh, so I have added some glitters and I've got these glitters on my nails and they awesome like absolutely amazing because they shift like uh, they look different in different angles, like amazing. And that's only two colors used. Can you believe I used only the pink and the uh, blue one on, on my nail? And I think it will be absolutely fantastic to incorporate that into the design. Uh, and we will be doing it in the meantime when painting the unicorn. So for the unicorn, I'm also going to add a drop of the white. And we are going to also work with some top coat. So a drop of the top coat. to make our pink even lighter. Okay, so I'm just adding even more white into my pink and a drop of the top coat just so it's not too pigmented. <laughs> and that's give me a perfect shade for the base for the unicorn. Okay, and I'm using the watercolor brush from the Neil Perfect. It is a slightly larger brush. Uh, so it's awesome for like those uh, very quick uh, parts which we are going to paint. So I have touched it uh, to do the nose of the unicorn and then his head. We are starting off with the splash of the color and the next part of the head. The eye is going to be somewhere here. Can you see it happening? <laughs> So this is only our splash of the color first. And painting with the splashes of the color is much easier for me to fix the shape later on. Like I, I can see it, what is wrong. And then I can start fixing the shape and make it prettier. Okay, so it already has a decent shape of the head and now we are going to also paint the neck because it's in the same color okay straight away i can dip in my brush into the darker one because underneath of the neck we are going to have some shadow. So I'm just blending that out. Also some shadows here. And a bit of blush. Okay, so this is our base shape. Now we have to give it a cure. Just fade it a little bit more in here. Give it a cure. And in the meantime, we can start preparing our glittery tips. So on the pinky, we're going to go for, and normally you would encapsulate it in the gel. Obviously on the tips, is it, it is impossible. So I'm going to encapsulate it in the base gel and that will last as well. But normally you would do it in the gel. There's lots of tutorials as well where I'm doing encapsulations in the gel. 
and I'm using always like an old brush on the dry wipe I kind of like mm, make a brush even messier the messier it is the easier it is to pick up the glitter and you know what guys let's go for maybe orange let's go for orange just so we've got all sort of different colors so orange on this one and then this orange it's like a coral one. Oh, and a beautiful butterfly in there absolutely amazing glitter now to flatten it i'm going to use um, either a sponge or eyeshadow uh, applicator and i've got some eyeshadow applicator so what i'm doing is i'm just moving it and check it on the side like if there is any sticking out bits and pieces you want to flatten it because if they are not flat they are going to come off okay so just touch them up even more glitter here not as large and then put it inside the lamp give it a cure okay our unicorn is cooking <laughs> and we can move on into the next part of it so i'm going to start adding more detail as well we have some beautiful hair in here. So we have added some pink, here even more pink, then he's going to have a cute ear in here. And more here. clean my brush so we can swap into the different color some white mixed with the pink because we need to add the detail to the ear I have just uh, I'm just rolling my brush into the nice point. Okay, so that's our ear. He also has some horn as well, which we are going to paint in a minute. And we can um, start adding the detail into the eye as well, but give it a flash cure. So a couple seconds, pick up some blue. So I've got some blue. And this is pretty dark blue, so I'm going to mix it with the white. That's just better.
Can you paint a decent size eye? And also straight away, I'm going to make some turquoise color by adding a drop of yellow into my blue. Okay, so this way we have created a beautiful turquoise color. Add some turquoise here. And then give it a flash cure. Okay, normally, as I say, we would use um, sculpting gel to encapsulate the glitter. So now, instead of that, I'm just applying a thin layer of the base gel. Again, just so everything stays in there. And then give it a cure. Next part of the unicorn. So we are going to add more here. So I'm going to do some yellow ones. And again with the white, just so it's a nice shade of yellow. And a little bit in there. This is actually a pretty small tip uh, to do this design, but yeah, I think it's pretty interesting. Now we need to uh, get some black. So I'm using the foil design gel as a black. And some dotting tool. Okay, with the dotting tool we are going to Paint the black inside the eye. More to the top. And again, give it a flash cure. Let's do the next tip with the sparkle. Okay, so decent amount of the base. And now we are going to use this ones. That's the one I've got on my nails. Absolutely amazing glitter. And then the blue one. And we've got some butterfly here as well. I 
Like once you find it that the glitter doesn't stick into the tip, that means you've got too much uh, of the product on your brush. And I suggest you clean your brush so it's nice and messy again. Okay, and that's what I'm going to do it. Clean my brush. And then check for any sticking out bits and pieces. And you can also move some glitter as well. By pressing with the sponge or like eyeshadow applicator, I find it like I've got less filing when I do the glitter encapsulation. Give it a cure. Let's go to our unicorn. He missing the horn. So we are going to use some white. Okay, to paint a horn. It is always the detail which makes everything pretty. And I will show you guys how much the detail is going to change this. Okay, so this is our horn and we can also add some sparkle. I'm going to start swapping into the smaller brush now. So we are going to use the D-liner brush and this one is tiny because we need to add some sparkle into the eye. So add the drop and then just drag it into the sparkle. And another small drop just where the black meets blue. Give it a flash cure. Next one. And here I will just swap the colors because I love this combination of those two. So the blue on the top. Actually, even on its own, the blue looks amazing. And then the pink. Okay, now we are going to take the eyeshadow applicator and touch it up. Awesome, that looks so pretty. It's definitely this unicorn style. Okay, I can put those glitters on the side. Let's go back to the unicorn. Okay, and now we are going to add more here. So I still have um, got the light, light brush, the fine brush, and we are going to paint some purple now. Okay, so here, some purple here. Some purple here, here, like a very tiny one. We need also couple as a French.
And this one's just to fill out the space, like, so you've got lots of hair. Make it a bit lighter. Okay, we want another ones for his fringe and this is going to be the turquoise one. Just adding this little detail. We still need to add some detail to his mouth. So I'm picking up a drop of the black and clean my brush well, like really well. <clears throat> A drop of the top coat, because I don't want too much of it. You can even mix it with the pink, just to create kind of dirty pink color. Hardly any product on your brush. And that's his mouth. Okay, just add some shadow. He also missing some nose. And add some shadow. You want to also add some beautiful lashes, isn't it? <laughs> so outline the eye. On the top and the lash. On the top and another lash. On the top. And one more. Okay, now drag this product. Look, I have nothing on my brush. And some bottom lashes. So we have painted some eye. We also need to add some detail uh, on the top of the horn. And this is going to be a drop of the pink and a yellow. So uh, I'm cleaning my brush and taking the top coat, just a drop more. Drop of the top coat, go into my yellow clean the brush, there might be some color left over and give some color to the horn clean it again and pick up some pink just so we've got some ombre horn blend that in What else we miss? We miss some sparkles or something on the hair. Now what I'm going to do it is add those pink color again to my black because black is so strongly pigmented that we don't want it to be too much and then add some more detail into the hair. Kind of like separate some strands. We 
15. Don't worry about doing on all of them. It's just on some. Hardly any product in. It looks like I have nothing on my brush, but you can see it, my brush is still painting and that's all what I want. This way we can get a really nice and fine lines. I didn't want to rush this unicorn. Okay, I need someone here. And of course we have to flash cure it so we can add the detail into the horn as well. Okay, that's enough. So give it a flash cure so we can just add some detail to the horn. And then let's finish those glittery ones so we've got those base and the glitter is pretty flat uh, but I wanted it to be really nice so what I'm going to do it is I'm apply the top coat and give it a couple scratches and then reapply it the top coat just so nothing sticks out but you will be able to see it how I am encapsulating glitter on the real news on this tutorial as well and I will give you the card for it just so you can see the proper job, not on the press on nails. Next one. I mean, it is solution. Because it was a shame, like, I couldn't do much of the glittery designs <laughs> because of the press on nails. But I really love this glitter and I thought, like, no, I need to show you guys that as well. Okay, the unicorn is waiting for a detail on the horn. And the detail on the horn is actually quite cute as well. Because what you do is you go like this. Just like a wee wave. So we've got absolutely stunning detail on the horn. I love my unicorn. I just wish the tip could be a slightly bigger so I could add um, a bit longer nose to it. Now we have to buff it. So let's tidy up this mess. Put the glitters away. You don't want them to get dirty. And there we are, the first one. Okay, so I'm just going, it is top coated, and what I'm doing is I'm just going to give it a couple scratches with the file. Just so it's quicker. So nice coffin shape. And then take a buffer and buff it. So the glitter becomes matte, but it's going to be nice and smooth, and we will just reapply the top coat. There we are. 
that is quicker. Remove the dust and then apply the top coat. Okay, so this way we have got a nice and smooth glitter encapsulation, even on the press on nails. Now on the unicorn, I'm just going to add a couple of the sparkle into his hair and then we can top coat it. And now I'm so like, con like I've got dilemma guys, because I'm kind of thinking like, oh my goodness, we should paint it at um, matte top coat or should we paint it a shiny top coat? Some sparkle in his hair. Obviously, the matte top coat is going to uh, look really awesome because the light reflection wouldn't um, disturb the view of the unicorn. And that's why I've got this dilemma. Okay, so we've got, no, I need one more here. Yay. Okay, so that's the unicorn. And in matte, it, the light wouldn't disturb it. Um, gosh, I don't know. Okay, let's quickly buff another tip. I've got such a big dilemma. So I'm quickly filing another tip. Nice coffin shape. Give it a couple scratches just to remove the biggest bulk. And then use the buffer. We've got another one. Clean the dust. I mean, could be better. And then apply the top coat. No, I will apply the shiny top coat over the unicorn. <laughs> I might change my mind for the display case, but I will see. And then give it a cure. Okay, and the unicorn, where are you? Okay, so it's a time to put some top coat over it. And top coat always smooths out any kind of imperfections as well, so the things looks even prettier. As I say, the only dilemma I had was should we go for a matte or shiny one? Well, how about we look at this unicorn? It looks awesome. I hope you have guys enjoyed it as well. Give it a cure and let's check the other tips. So what we've got in here, we've got pinky. I love this combination of the color, really nice. 
But yeah, check it how I encapsulate the glitter like properly in a gel. Like so it's deeper and I feel it looks more 3D even uh, than when it's done just with the base and the top coat. But obviously we had no choice for the press on nails. Tiny bit more. Of those blue tack. One, we've got one. Like really nice. Then we've got ring finger. I think that must be a ring finger. No, this will be a ring finger. This one is not buffed yet. <laughs> okay, we've got one which is not buffed yet. Now this is a ring finger. Awesome. Let me quickly buff this one. So just a couple scratches with the buffer so we don't overfile the glitter. And then buff it. All this blue tuck. It will look really awesome, this one as well. Okay, that's it buffed. So let's go back here, clean the dust, and apply the top coat. Oh, it's a bit wonky. That's better. Apply the top coat. Get this nice sparkle out. And then give it a cure. Now the middle finger is our unicorn. He's so pretty. I show you all the sides. And then the last nail, couple seconds longer. I will also give you the, uh, the links, the glitters you can get it as well uh, from our website. It's a kind of new stuff and I love them so much. So yeah, that's a full set which we have created today and I hope you have guys really enjoy watching it. Look at the sparkle. So I will show you first glitter again. All different angles. It's awesome. Absolutely amazing. And then the unicorn so the light doesn't reflect it too much over it. Glittery hacks and bye for now.